I don't know this one, right? I get it mixed up with folklore all the time. This came after her whole thing where now she owned her music, right? This was like, this, this was, there were no Taylor versions. What the fuck is this? This is some Hades town shit right here. What? This is like witchy witch stuff. Like the water when your ship rolled in that night. This is cool. Rough on the surface, but you cut through like a knife. Whatever you stray or follow, I'm begging for you to take my hand. Wreck my plans, that's my man. This is cool. Ooh, I love the This is like cool. This is so neat. I'm like speechless. It it feels like folklore, but with like a little hint more of pop to it than folklore. It's like you put them together, like 1989 tinge into folklore. Life was a little and a bend right to your wind. Stronger than a 90s trend. <laughs> right? Oh, like some cool dance. Yes! Give it to me, Taylor! This is badass! What? This is so neat. Wait for the signal and I'll meet you after dark. Ah! Show me the places where the others can. Oh yeah, you want like a cape and just dancing around under the stars. Every bait and switch was a work of art. Every bait and switch, it's low too. And then she goes up the octave. Never you stray that's my man. See, it's that that's my man. The chorus feels a little more 1989, but the music is like folklore. I love the backups on this as well. Simple melody and then jumping up an octave above, but I feel like it's not just about the notes, it's more about the combination and the mixture of everything. That was so cool! I had no idea. Is Cardigan in folklore, right? I've done I've done a reaction to Cardigan, which I will be sure to link down below, a long time ago before we went on this Taylor Swift journey. You forget to be kind. Oh wow, that's a line right there. Holy shit. And if I didn't know better, oh, beautiful jump I there. Talking to me now. And if I didn't know better. I love that note range there. You were like, you were like, oh my god. Like you hear those lows? They're rich and beautiful. I didn't stay dead. I didn't stay dead. Oh, it's supported so well. I should have asked you questions. I should have asked you how to be. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Don't show the girl crying. Watch as you signed your name, Marjorie. All your closets and backlog dreams. Is this about like a um a memory? Is that what this is? Sing it to me now. Like drink me coffee so I don't cry. <laughs> I think you were still around. Oh, it's gotta be about someone that she lost. I know better, but I still feel you all around. This is a beautiful song. <laughs> Shit. She's still around. The way that she's putting this emotion behind the low notes. Crap, I need a tissue. Oh, God. <laughs> I have too much Taylor Swift black eyeliner on to be hearing this song right now. Oh, that is a cool piano. With all the vines and everything. You know. Champagne problems? Is this champagne problems? Last city on the U.S. tour. Ah! Sorry. It is. Okay, I'm on it. It is. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm here with you, Taylor. So. <laughs> She's so real. 
I feel like this is a lot of booze, you guys. <laughs> so you put out like five albums that you haven't done tours for, so what's your plan? Like really? She hasn't done tours for like five of them? Three and a half hour long show. <laughs> She's like, yeah. That's awesome. Cheers, cheers. Get to sing Champagne Problems in a stadium. Yay! Yeah. Here we are. I hope you guys are drinking with me. If you're legal age, I'm not responsible for what happens. Is she gonna make me cry while drinking champagne? I don't think that's supposed to be allowed. You the night for a reason. You're not sure which is worse. Yeah, those lows are just so beautiful and strong. Knocked your hand while dancing, oh. left you out there standing, crest falling on the land in champagne problems. Whoa, that's low, but that was beautiful. Oh. I love how she just released as she goes into the piano. You couldn't. It's here, not too low, right in the sweet spot. You had a speech, your speechless. Speechless. Love slipped beyond your reaches, and I couldn't give a reason. Champagne problems. Oh. I feel like when when she stops singing, she just you like feel this breath in, and there's this momentum and this build and this release. That's gotta be amazing, and she's singing it in the stadium. You might as touch on the Chevy door. November flush, and you feel the momentum is building here. Once a oh, everyone's singing with her. She would have made such a lovely bride. What a shame she's fucked in the head. Oh, they said shit. You'll find the real thing instead. She's talking about herself being fucked up and someone else coming in? You won't Did remember. Did someone propose to her? I mean, I guess like if that's your worst problems in your life, it is fucking champagne problems, especially during a pandemic, right? People are starving, people are out of work, people are sick, people are dying, and this would be the champagne problem. I feel like her audience really connects to that song. It just felt deeper. It felt like everyone had gone through this journey with her and then hearing her sing it and perform it, it was like they, they connected together, finally like coming together. Oh, that little one. How long has she been listening to Taylor? Come on now. Taylor's been around what? 15 years? Something like that? She making the table? Ah, drink up, Taylor. <laughs> Champagne problems, honey. I'm still here with you. Oh, this is cool. Oh, she is drinking. Okay, we're drinking. <laughs> I have a feeling hers is water though because I do notice for me personally when you're when you're drinking and singing especially wine it's very highly acidic you know what is she setting the table what is she doing is she like perfecting everything she looked nervous for a second oh is it gonna be a duet with someone no wig and watch you I like the flip on the dough, the tightness. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, she's so sweet with her little nod. I know my love should be celebrated, but you tolerate. Oh my God, I love that line. That whole connection. Holy shit, she can act. This is amazing. But what would you do if I... The way that she's hovering as she's singing this. Break free and leave us in oh. ruins. Took this dagger and me and removed it. Whoever choreographed this is amazing and she's just bringing it in. I know my love should be celebrated. Oh, it's like she's reaching out to 
many relationships. I think we've all been in a relationship like this where it, you're just reaching and the more you reach, the more they pull away. And you just feel broken. I sit and watch you. Oh my God, and it just ends like that? What the fuck? I'm drinking champagne here, people. I'm not supposed to be crying. But I mean, I feel like we can all relate to something of some relationship like that, where you just feel like you're not good enough, and the more that you do is the more they pull away. But it, in reality, it's a, it's a relationship that's really not there anymore, but you're trying to cling to something that was good at one point, and you're just hanging by a thread. <laughs> Oh, okay, I can drink to this. Yes, bring me back to 